Anyways, boys, let's go ahead and make that uh, quick cycle graveyard deck from yesterday. I really want to make a YouTube video about it. So that's what I'm going to do right now. 2.5 cycle graveyard. Do you guys think I can win a GC with this? If we all put our heads together and just believe hard enough, I think we can easily win. Easy. Alright, looks like we're going against a graveyard here. This man probably watches my videos. Maybe, I don't know. Let's see, let's see. We got a split bats up in here. We got a... I don't want to react to what he does next. Let's get a Dark Goblin down again. Hmm... Okay, he goes with an ice wizard. Let's get a ice column up top and protect this uh, dark goblin here. Nice. Dark goblin actually is getting so much value right now. Nice. Two big shots. Okay, I'm very happy with this defense. Um... I think we can definitely go for an Ice Golem Graveyard now. We're going to place our Graveyard like this. Because he'll probably just poison here. He actually goes for Skeleton King. Interesting. I wouldn't have expected him to do that. We get some damage. We actually take the damage lead. But this counter push could be bad for us. We don't want to play our bats all the way to the top. We want to play them a little bit farther back. Because he could Ice Wizard. Okay, there's the Ice Wizard I was talking about. We're going to want to get a arrows here and then some skeletons on his ice whiz. No, that's so bad. I have to use arrows on defense here. A bad tornado. We, are, we defended pretty dang well there. Let's go to the ice spirit here. I think I want to keep playing these Dark All ones. He doesn't seem to know how to defend against them very well. Let's go with an uh, Ice Comb Graver. Graver like this this time. Because I don't think he wants to poison. Nice. Okay. We actually get so much damage. That's big. Oh, he actually activated our King Tower. Let's get another Dark Goblin down. Our King Tower is activated. It's going to help out so much. Look at the Dark Goblin for the Ops lane helping out as well. We're going to cycle to our Ice Golem and get this Graveyard down right now. We're going to get some Bats down as well. We can fully counter to this uh, Ice Wizard with an Ice Spirit. The Bats are still there. We get some decent chip damage. Let's go with a uh, Dark Goblin on the bridge here. And he's going to give up. Let's go. We actually beat Splash Hard with 2.5 Graveyard Cycle. That's big. That's a big W right there. Start off this GC. Okay, this Ice Comb Graveyard is a fail. The Ice Comb is not tanking. We get like no damage because of that. Okay, was tanking towards the end of it though. So we get a couple hits. We're going to go with the Dark Goblin here to snipe this mini P.E.K.K.A out. I'm too scared of that mini P.E.K.K.A to... Uh... Yeah. Go Skeletons over here. Okay, this guy's terrible. He didn't use the ability. We can definitely just Ice Calm Hog or Ice Calm Grave right now. I'm so used to saying Ice Calm. What? Hello? What is happening? We're going to take this tower. Best defense to a graveyard is a pump. You guys heard it here first from Ray Jar Jaro Cho. <laughs> I absolutely just butchered this guy's name, didn't I? <laughs> I'm just going to arrows here to hit the queen, the tower, and the pump. I think it's decently valuable. Okay, I am scared. <laughs> this is bad. This is bad. Um, okay, ice spirit. We just need to continually distract this expo for eternity. And I really need a graveyard onto this uh, pump right now. It's my best way of taking them out. Go.
Interesting. Come on, Graveyard Skelly spawn. That was terrible. I think we're in a lot of trouble right now. I really don't see myself winning this game. But you do have double elixir though, so maybe maybe we'll be okay. Dark Gob. Okay, that was a really nice defense. Need to keep distracting the best I can here. I don't like this guy right now, dude. That didn't work. Bro, these pumps are unrelenting, dude. Wait. Cannon, go. Do something cool. Nice. Nice. Okay, that's clutch. Okay, I think I think if there's ever a moment for us to do something, it's now. We need to go. We just need to go right now. Okay, nice. The arrows kills the e-spirit before it's a jumping. Come on, skellies, go, 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 go. I just need to cycle two arrows somehow before I lose this game. The ice columns are clutch. That arrows was amazing. Oh, that is on my tower though. Come on, chat. Is arrows enough? I This has to be enough or else I lose. Place! 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 Oh. Come on. <laughs> Let's go, chat. W's. Oh, my God. I can't believe I actually beat Expo Pump with this weird deck, dude. Let's go with the Dark Gob here. We have an Electra coming down the right hand side. I can fully counter it with a Ice Spirit. I'll show you guys how to do that right now. Nice. Nope, I failed. So you have to play the, uh, <laughs> you have to play the Ice Spear a couple more tiles back, but I was afraid to do so because of the, uh, because of that ghost there. My bad, my bad. Let me go with a bat here, a cannon. Maybe some skeletons as well. We're gonna get Ice Spear low. That's really, really, really bad that that is on my tower right now. Gonna have to eat some damage. A lot of damage here. I have to go bats on this as well. I'm not sure if I'll come out on top here on damage. No, he's gonna be slightly above me here. Okay. So the biggest thing from here on out is protect the cannon. The reason I took so much damage there is because I let my cannon die. I need to protect the cannon from the golden eye dash. But I also need to protect it from the ram itself using like an ice spirit to slow its charge. We have a dark on the bridge here. You get some nice damage. We will take the damage lead. Three big shots. I think I am going to arrows here. Wow, miss arrows misses tower. That's bad. Obviously. Ice spirit to make sure it doesn't get too much damage. We have a cannon ready. I think I'm just going to pre-place my cannon expecting something with his electro wizard. Does not. Let's go with skeletons. And then I need to pressure opposite lane. He's Magic Archer's out of cycle. This might be a good Graveyard right now. I don't think he has good options. He has no Magic Archer and no Electro Wizard right now. So we actually take tower. That's awesome. Um, we're gonna get Bats up top here. Okay. So here's what I'm talking about. Even though my cannon's one HP, if I protect it and keep it alive for a long amount of time, it's gonna provide a lot of value defensively. Just take this uh, shot. I'll just arrows maybe to suck into my cannon. Okay, we get drop glitched into oblivion here. I need to pre cannon his magic archer. It doesn't come down in time. Wow. I just lost my tower because of drop glitch. That is actually infuriating. I would have won this game already if the drop glitch didn't happen. Let's try and get a graveyard down though. Let's get arrows on everything. 
Dude, can you guys believe I'm losing right now? I, I can literally, like, I'm literally fine if my, uh... If I don't get drop glitch there, that's pretty annoying. No way. Okay, thank god it didn't dash. Oh my gosh! That's bad. That's really bad. I need something on offense right now. Dark Op is locked. Bats in the pocket. No zap and cycle. No electric and cycle either. Bats are on the tower. We're actually going to take the damage lead. Just barely. He wastes his ability as well. We're going to get a cannon. Getting ready for the defense. Along with some Dark Gob. We're going to go pre-ice spirit for maybe a peck in the middle. There's the peck in the middle. Dark Gob, don't die on me right now, dog. That's bad. That's bad. Okay, we can bats though. Let's go with a high cannon. Let's go with a spirit here. Let's go dark gob. And we're gonna need skeleton surround on the ghost. We can surround. Nice. Really good surround. Let's get a graveyard. Ice call in the middle. Maybe I'll sneak a uh, dark gob in the middle as well here. Thoughts? Ooh, that dark gob is locked on the tower. It's gonna be GG. Dar uh, freaking drop glitch can't stop us. We got the dub anyways. We're gonna go in with ice spirit skeletons. Cannon on that, I think. I think that works. We're gonna go with Ice Golem here, thinking that we're just gonna defend it, but we're actually gonna come with the graveyard. Get my arrows ready. Get the arrows on the Spear Goblins. Arrows on the Spear Goblins came down pretty quick. He's gonna panic with a Snowball. I can use my Ice Spirit to fully counter this Goblin Gang re Remnants, I think. Perfect. We actually take a 500 damage lead to start us off here. He's going with that. We can just cannon to defend. We're going to wait. And then skeletons. Look at the cannon. It actually helps with the miner as well. Left side tower is going to help shoot the skeletons. Perfect defense. That was a really positive trade as well. Only used four elixir and he used six. So I think based off that info, I think I can go with another ice golem graveyard here. Um, maybe we use the ice golem once again for multiple uses. We can tank. I'm not going to graveyard. I can't, I can't graveyard since he bats and kill... Maybe I arrows quickly and then dark goblin. Just to be real annoying. But cannon once again here is going to get a lot of value. It's going to help versus skeletons and the miner right now. Or versus, not the skeletons, but the goblins and the miner. I think I take maybe one goblin hit. Yeah. But uh, we actually got a lot of damage from the dark goblin. I didn't realize how much we got. That's pretty pog. Big damage lead right now. We want to keep up the damage lead. He's going to make it in the back. We need to instantly grave our lops lane. Not let him build up a big push. We have arrows down. The arrows basically hits everything. Ice Golem should take care of the other two bats. That might just be towered down right now. Ice Golem does a really good job. Here versus the Mega Knight. Wait. Nice. Look at that defense. Activating King Tower versus the Mega Knight. We have the bats for this. The cannon's going to help and clean everything up. Ice Golem, just to be sure, didn't even need it though. Yo, that defense was so good. We're going to dark off of the bridge and then I'm going to pre arrows because I'm feeling good. Oh my gosh, we feeling good today. Two dark off shots. Let's go with the ice spirit here and let's get a cannon down. And getting ready for this defense. He's going to let the ice spirit go through and he's going to build up this huge push. We have to do our best to defend here. Oh my gosh, that defense was so good. That defense was amazing. And uh, actually, geez, wowzers. Yeah, just outplaying our opponent in every aspect of the game in order to clutch up a nice W there. Okay, zap, that's an even trade. We're gonna go instantly Ice Golem Graveyard. We're going against Wakun here. So this guy definitely stream sniped me. Um, I don't know what's wrong with him. Yeah. Why? We just got stream sniped. Uh, Wakun, I don't know if you're watching this, man. I'm literally just trying to record a YouTube video. How's he stream sniping? Wakun is known to stream snipe. He stream sniped me. He has arrows for Dargob, Zap for bats, Mother Witch for graveyard. He has Earthquake for cannon. 
and he has RG for his win condition. That that's a stream snipe, boys. Can he not get banned for that? No. Clash Royale doesn't care about people that do that. For some reason. In other games you can get banned for stream sniping, but not in this game. With an ice cold graveyard here. Get a cannon down for the defense, along with an ice spirit. Really good defense here. How's your day been? It was really good until what just happened. Let's go skeletons on the musky. Perfect. Um, I don't think he does. He vlog for this. I'll probably log this. No, he goes with that. That's interesting. Ah, you're real one. Thanks, man. I'll try and win this game. Let's go with the ice spirit. And I think I need to go with the ice comb hog here before he outcycles me. Okay, nice. He actually wastes his ice comb on defense as well and his log. So. Even though we didn't get any damage, we forced him to use a lot of elixir. Gonna cycle my skeletons to get to my cannon. I'm gonna go dark on the bridge plus an ice spirit for skeletons. Nice. Okay, we get so much damage. And we have cannon for hog. He has a fireball. That's interesting. Maybe bats can be enough to stop this from getting hit. Awesome. Really good defense. Really positive elixir trades all around as well. Um, I think we can go with an ice golem hog here. Or sorry, not ice golem hog, ice golem graveyard. We have our arrows ready. We're, let's just pre-arrows. Okay, we actually clean up his skeletons with those pre-arrows. I don't know if you guys saw that. It was like at the very last second there. Let's go to dark gob, get this ready. Get some bats as well. And we're vibing. Let's go with an ice golem graveyard. Get our skeletons ready for his hog. Big vibes. Let's go pre arrows for anything that he might put. Nice. Okay. Just bat skeletons and spirit on defense, and he can't break through. <laughs> I kind of feel bad. We have a really nice matchup, even though I'm using a troll 2.5 great cycle deck. We're going to take this W. Nice. That's going to put us at 11 wins in this GC. Can I get the 12 wins, boys? <sighs> I try my best, boys. That's going to be it for the video, guys. We were really close to getting 12 wins with 2.5 graveyard. If I didn't get stream sniped, I definitely could have got it. But, uh, you know, crap happens, right? That's the saying, right? <laughs> But uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the noti bell. Comment down below video ideas as well. Um, appreciate y'all. Stay juicy and peace.